waiting for the phone to be near Bluetooth range. I mean, this is just ridiculous at this point. And now we're coming up to a junction here. It's indicating left correctly and it's turning it. Before though, it did used to cut up cars quite a bit, but as you can see now, oh my God. Okay, it's going way too far forward. It is not going left. Look at where, oh my God, where are we going? <laughs> Welcome back everybody to Tesla Driver. I hope you're doing very well. Today we're going to be looking at advanced or smart summon, normal summon and parking in 2022. Now one of my videos that I did on this a few years ago has really blown up recently so I wanted to come back to it. I wanted to come back to the Tesla and I wanted to show you what's new, what's happening in 2022. Now the fact that we're sat here in a field, we're actually sat in, in one of my sheds, probably tells you that things still aren't great. The reason we're sat over here is because I can't get any summon feature to work over there because it's too close close to the main road. Even though we're on my driveway, it won't do it, which is so, so annoying. So instead, I've had to come all the way down my field and park here just to show you if it can work. So without further ado, let's get into this. I'm gonna ask my car to drive me as close over there as possible to my gate. Uh, we're gonna pretend that basically I'm over there and I'm calling my car. Now I can't actually go over there and call the car because I have to be within literally two meters. You'll see a little bit later on in the video, I try different distances, it's absolutely ridiculous. So we're sat in the car, let's give it a whirl. I'm gonna ask it to go to that target over there. Okay, summon failed, unable to summon. Sweet, that's a great start. Let's give it another whirl. Okay, here we go. We are off. And the car is going. Yeah, we've gone we've come off now. The little ledge, we're on the grass. And really it should just take itself over there, which it is doing. Here we go. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> it's working on the grass. And sure, I mean Okay, I guess that's I guess that's close close enough to what I wanted it to do. Let's say for example we want the car to come out and just turn left, okay? We want it to go left, not into the trees over there, but this side of it. Let's see what the car does on its first trial. Go to target. Come on car. Okay, uh, the mirrors have folded in. The car's turned off and summon has failed. Okay. Let's give it another whirl. Come on, go to target car. You've got this. Okay, he is coming out. Yes, we are out. And now he needs to turn left. It's turning left. It's turning left nicely. Okay, it's going way too far forward. It is not going left. Look at where... Oh my God, where are we going? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, we're reversing. Oh my God, kind of. Now we're going forward again. Now, don't get me wrong. Oh, jeepers. That hurt my neck. Maximum distance re reached. So we are in a field. So there's nothing for it to follow. Um, but as you can see, it didn't It didn't take the left turn that I wanted it to do. Here's a different test. We're slightly further away again from the road. I'm in between trees. Like there's trees all around me. All I want the car to do is to reverse out and go to where like the, the, the shed is where we started a second ago. Oh my God, that noise. I'm not sure what that was. Oh, Farrah's behind us, the dog. <laughs> he's just he's just sat there just like ha ah, what's going on? <laughs> the car's thinking about it waiting for path to clear let me call him out the way okay it's trying it's thinking it hates the fact that my dog is there okay it's still trying to work its way out of this situation okay farrah's gone out the way it's actually reversed itself out wow look at that look at the situation i put it in between trees between bushes, there was a dog there. It's actually come out nicely. And now, as long as it goes forward, yeah, look at this. Okay, so it kind of, oh, oh my God, it stops. Cannot achieve max distance. Oh, oh, cannot exceed max distance. So this is max distance. So at home, it's pretty much useless if you live next, next to a road, which is every house pretty much, so they live next to a road. It's still absolutely useless. Let's go test it in the car park. Since the last update, the Tesla now can actually see the road marking. So there shouldn't need to be two cars next to each other for the car now to find a space, which should in theory be really useful. So you can see here it's picking up loads of spaces. I'm just gonna put it in reverse. It's picked one for me. Uh, I'm gonna click start. There we go. And we'll just let it do its thing. Let's see if it, shush Siri. Let's see if it actually gets into the space and goes in between the lines. This should in theory be easier for it than actually going in between two cars because two car cars can be parked completely randomly. Whereas the lines, 
obviously aren't. That's perfect. Look at that, straighten the light a little bit over, but definitely not too bad at all. Let's go give that another whirl. That was actually a really good first test. Uh, let's go down this way and see, because we're really close as well to the left side. So I don't know how far or how many I need to go past before it picks one up. So it's picked one up actually on the right there. And now it's swapped, okay, it swapped it over to the left. That's fine, let's let it pick, pick the left one and aborted. Not sure why, a bit strange. Okay, don't know why I didn't like that one. Let's try, what if we go a little bit further down and we try the next one it says it can do. There we go, parking space. Let's give that one a whirl. I wonder why I didn't like the first one that it tried to do there. It might have been because it was thinking it wanted to park on the other side of the road or on the other side of the car park. But you can see, picking up the lines nicely, it knows where it's going. It is still very, very slow. And if there were people around you, I think they would still get annoyed by this, but look at that, nicely done. Parked perfectly. Boom, right in between the lines. You can see there that it's literally perfectly done and that is auto park complete. There we go, so it's picked up one on the right. It wants to go to a complete stop. Let's give that another whirl. Ah, auto park aborted. And I'm, again, I'm not 100% sure why it's not liking going on the right side. Now, maybe it's realized that it's on the, the wrong side of the road here. Let me just see if it can pick up any more parking spaces. There is definitely, there we go. We've got another one here on the right. Let's give that one a whirl. It might be, no, but see now it's going for the one on the right. No worries. Again, nice and slowly. Very slowly. The movements as well are a lot slower and more gradual like this than they used to be. They used to be like full tilt, full send every time. But alas, there we go. We have parked it perfectly. So brilliant. Okay, so parking seems to be working. I'm gonna try and find a space. Ah, here we go. Between this Vauxhall and this Mini is where I want to go. So I'm gonna indicate left to see if the car realizes I want to park on the left side. We're gonna wait for a parking space, boom. There we go. And that is in between those two cars. So let's see how this parks now in between two cars and it has lines. So I wonder here if it's actually, if it's done this by the lines or by the car. I would assume it's done it all by the lines now and just the cars are in the other bays. You know, it doesn't even really matter to this car that the, the other cars are in the other bays. Nicely done. Again, slowly, but steadily. There's absolutely no one around us. And yeah, it's done it perfectly. I mean, if you if you really can't park, this now is doing it very, very well. Okay, we had a couple of abortions uh, over there and over there, and they were both kind of when I had left or right choices. We're gonna give Smart Summon a whirl. So we can come out and turn right and there's like a junction and we're gonna see if we can go around that junction. What will the car do? If I say I want it to go all the way over there, it looks like it's gonna try and cut straight through the car park. So I'm gonna say I want the car to go over there. Will it bring us out and go that way? I'm not 100% sure. Uh, let's give it a whirl. There's no one around us. No, we're all good. Okay, go to target. Auto park aborted. Here we go, there's no one around. Looks fairly safe. Oh my God, it slammed on and now it's like doing some weird reversing. There we go, we're coming out. So you can see there is a junction there. Let's see what it does when it gets to the, oh, it's kind of just stopped in the middle. Yeah, I mean, it thinks it's done it. Okay, well, I mean, that, that's kind of what I asked it to do, I guess, to a degree. So the only use case for this that I can still think of is if your car is completely trapped in, I know we're not here, but if your car was completely trapped in, you could, in theory, still stand behind it and tell it where to go. Let's give it a whirl here. Before though, it did used to cut up cars quite a bit, but as you can see now, oh my God, look how close it gets when it cuts up. I just don't understand. Every time that I've done this with Summon, it gets really close. Rather than going all the way around, you'll see that it, it just doesn't. It just goes for like a, a cut up. 
and I, I've, I said this in the, in the last few videos, when it tries to turn, it's as if it can't see another car next to it, which is just really, really bizarre. And you see here, if we reverse back into it, it just doesn't want to, it doesn't want to get out of this position. Okay, with this one, we're gonna try and come out and go kind of right around that corner over there. You can see it will take me like around it. I'm just gonna see if, see it wants to go, for some reason it wants to go into that hedge and not on the road. Uh, there's no one around us here. Let's see what the car decides to do. Okay, it has turned right correctly, so that's good. And now we're coming up to a junction here. It's indicating left correctly, and it's turning it. And that's as far as sadly auto, auto or smart summon will, will work here in the UK. We're outside the car now, and I think this is past the distance that it will work, but let's give it a whirl and see if anything has changed. There's no one around us. Will the car come out? It's actually turning. It's thinking of doing something. But as you can see, waiting for the phone to enter Bluetooth range. So it's not gonna come forward to us. It's just gonna turn itself and kind of get ready for it. Still wants us to get in with range. So at this point, like I said in 2019 or 2020, when I said it first time, you're never gonna be this far away from your car that you'll want, that you'll want the car to try and drive to you. Um, but I mean, it's, it's doing it. But for some reason he's going all the way across. He's not even trying to turn. He hasn't got any indicators on. Yeah, so I'd still say at this point, we're still at the same way where because you have to be within the six foot, it's pretty much pointless. All right, let's give it one more whirl. You see that it hasn't actually given us a line anymore. I'm not sure why it's not bringing up a line. Uh, let's make sure it's clear. Okay, now it's given us a reverse line. It has said that it wants to reverse out of this. There we go, it's figuring it out. It is now reversing. And it is doing it successfully. But again, if there was a car there, as you can see, it would have just kind of swiped the front of that, waiting for the phone to be near Bluetooth range. I mean, this is just ridiculous at this point. There's no way you're ever gonna need to do this. But yeah, if there was a car there, you can see it would have probably swiped that. It's fine on the curb over on the other side. Waiting for the phone to enter Bluetooth range. This is just a joke now. How bloody close do you want me to be? I literally might as well just be inside it. That is the whole whole problem with this. But it did successfully do it. And it has, has brought itself out relatively successfully. And it is going all the way. I wonder if they've actually reduced or changed the range at all of the car uh, when it's in summon mode. Because it used to be stuck at 20 feet. Let's jump in and give that a whirl. Let's do a range test. So I'm going to put this all the way to the edge of the bubble, just like that. And we're going to see, will the car pull us all the way there? There's no one else on the road. Let's give it a whirl. So it should move over to the left-hand side. Summon failed. I think maybe when the car is on, if you start summoning, it will abort it and it will fail. But then the car turns off and it gives you another go. And, and now it works. So here we go. We're coming out. There's no cars around. It should just go onto the other side of the road here. Yeah, it has done. Will it get all the way to the edge of its... See, I just don't know where is it going. Like, this is obvious. Surely it knows it's in a car park. There we go. We've reached the end, or at least it's aborted for some reason. I'm not sure if it actually reached the end of it or just kind of gave up. It's really hard to tell. Okay, we're going to try some kind of awkward parking here. On the left, we've got like a van that's kind of taking a few spaces. Uh, and I want to see, will the car try and park in that same space? I'm not 100% sure. Let's give it a whirl and see where this is, is wanting to park us. Oh, it's not sure. Look, it's moved the parking space there. It literally has moved it and we're kind of in the middle of two. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if it aborts this or if it doesn't want to do this one. No, it's going for it. It's So it's definitely, I think it's going for this space. Yeah, it is. Okay, it's going for that space and it's parking the car on the the other space behind us has come way way over as you can see but hopefully i'm hoping here that the tesla figures it out it's doing some kind of weird wobble it really doesn't like this situation that i've put it in at all it's still parking by the way but we're just kind of stuck What's it gonna do? It's like, I can't park in this space. I, no, it's just it's just gonna refuse it. Yeah, okay, it's gonna completely refuse that one. It's good to find all these edge cases, but to be totally honest, it just kind of, it just shows to me that I'm not gonna really be using this system 
to park my car. There's there's like really no need for it. So there it is everyone. That is Smart Summon, Normal Summon and Auto Park in 2022 on the Tesla. The last video I filmed on this, if you want to go back and check it out, was in 2019 and arguably I think it was better in 2019. We didn't have the line or the lane parking. You had to park in between cars. But other than that, it's all just got a little bit worse. I don't think anything's got better. Let me know down mm. below in the comment section what you think. Until next time, thank you for watching. Drive safe.